Hi, Paul Slack. It's Good News Broadcast. Speaking of Dr. Paul Ratner. Hi, doctor. How are you? Good morning, Paul. 25 years experience, specializing in the treatment of allergens, asthma, and immunology, a lot of uh, peer-reviewed articles. We also have Ashok uh, Waki. Hi, Ashok. How are you? Perfect, Paul. Good. An inventor, all right, and licensed uh, engineer right. and a consultant on allergy prevention industry. Okay, and uh, that's all good news. So we have something called uh, a launch here now for Allergen Block, and there's a website called allergenblock.com, and I believe we have some new good news to share with our audience. What's going on? Well, we, uh, we have a product that, uh, as you mentioned, is being launched today in most uh, retail pharmacies called Chloroseptic Allergen Block for Adults. It's a little allergies allergen block for children under the age of 12 years of age. It is a preventative treatment, a topical gel that's applied to the outside of the nose and to the upper lip that actually attracts and traps the allergens in the air, the pollen, before they get into the nose and before they uh, produce the allergic reaction. Uh, in addition, it is uh, drug free, uh, safe, effective, odorless, colorless, and can be used by anyone, including uh, children. Ashok, did you invent this? Yes, I did. Uh, Good man. Okay. Uh, tell us how that came about. Was it uh, uh, a mistake? Uh, <laughs> not really. My, out of 40 million Americans who suffer from allergies, uh, Paul, one of them happened to be my uh, daughter, Esta. Uh -huh. and, uh, like any other dad, I reached out to over-the-counter medication and soon found out that the side effects uh, uh, were, you know, the drowsiness caused by the medication itself was... was uh, uh, making her, you know, like falling her asleep in school. Uh, we didn't like it at all, and uh, we couldn't figure out whether the side effect was worse than the allergy. Uh, so I, I felt if I could block the allergens outside the nose, I could stop the allergies right in the first place. And uh, after extensive research, uh, the story had a happy ending. Uh, we're coming up with chloroseptic allergen block and uh, little allergies allergen block for kids 12 and younger. The product ha has no drugs at all. It's safe, it's easy to use, and the best part is it's, uh, it has no side effects. Uh, you know, parents love the fact that it's been created by a dad for his own daughter. Mm -hmm. Sure, I, would, I, I agree. I think it's wonderful. Let me ask you, though, there's a lot of, uh, in essence, I, I believe the, the government gets involved with these kinds of things as well, right? To be able to actually sell a uh, uh, something like this. Is that right? Or how does that work? That's correct. I mean, we, we took the high road with this, and, uh, you know, we went through the Food and Drug Administration to have this registered. We performed the clinical trials. Uh, they reviewed the clinical trials and the safety data and uh, gave their clearance to go ahead and, uh, and market and uh, distribute and sell this uh, remedy product uh, in the over-the-counter section of most retail pharmacies. That's sometimes a long process, right? It is a long process. Uh, in this case, it took, uh, you know, three to four years. But, uh, again, we wanted to differentiate this product and put something out that really was backed by science, not, uh, not something that was anecdotal, but something that actually had a scientific basis to it and actually performed in clinical trials uh, the way it's marketed uh, to be. You know, I said the word mistake, and I meant, I meant not a mistake because it's an invented mistake, because sometimes I think things get invented just because... You tried something that you didn't think well, was going to make it. Many great inventions that you know have been the result. <laughs> the Rube Goldberg effect here. Exactly. So, doctor, you mentioned something, the word natural, that had no drugs. So, so that's, what is it in it that, that's making it so successful? Well, it's a water-based gel, and the principle of it is it works basically because allergens in the air are electrostatically charged, and a show... Uh, invented this topical water-based gel that had the opposite charge of the allergens in the air. And so when they come in contact with the gel, they're attracted to the gel and trapped by the gel and prevented from going into the nose and causing the typical allergic reaction. Uh -huh. Ashok, let me ask you a question. I don't know if this is, uh, applies, but I remember somebody wanted me to sell a piece of equipment, and it said it, not, it, 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 clo it clobbered the ions. Does that word ions mean anything? It means, uh, you know, uh, ions mean something, but not related with this product. Uh, uh, you know, there, there are filters which are ionic filters, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which will, uh, you know, uh, you, you may have seen some certain things like that, 
uh, they, they, they throw in particular charge in the room and then trap the dust particles and you see all the dust particles on the wall. Right. Uh, it's like filtration system which is in some air conditioning systems as well. Mm -hmm. uh, our product is, uh, is, is different than that. Uh, it's, uh, as I said, it's uh, drug free. It is based on scientific principle from physics that opposite charges attract each other and that causes the allergen to be blocked. So in essence, it's not a, uh, a, a substance from, from nature, is it uh, the actual you know, composite of, of, the, of what, you, what we're, someone's putting on their nose? It's not a substance from the nature. It's not natural product per se in that sense. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a formulation which is water-based and uh, it works. All right, and works is good. Now uh, you have it with this website. Uh, um, it has some, uh, I guess, uh, pollen and energy, skin al allergies, wheat allergies. We now, uh, are all those involved with this uh, allergen block? Well, allergen block will trap and block any allergen, whether it's indoor, outdoor, year-round, or seasonal. It will block any allergen that gets in the air and comes in contact with the topical gel. So regardless of what the effect of that is later, uh, it will prevent that allergen from getting into the nose and uh, releasing the, the substances that cause the typical allergic reaction. Uh, that, this is over the counter? It is over the counter. It's available in uh, most retail pharmacies in the over the counter section with allergy remedies. It'll cost about $14.99 for a tube that will have about 150 applications. And even using it every four to six hours, it'll last uh, well over a month if you use it around the clock 24 hours a day. Uh huh. Okay. Having an allergy and uh, lots of uh, side effects occur as a result of having allergies. Isn't asthma one of them? And well, yes, there are many unpleasant side effects. If allergies are uncontrolled, it can result in chronic sinus infection. It can result in asthma. Uh, it can result in, in, in many things. And so it's very important to prevent uh, the allergy symptoms from occurring in the first place. And I think that's the, the beauty of this product. And what we're most excited about is that it for the first time really presents a preventative approach as opposed to waiting for symptoms to occur. So if someone is having an allergy attack, so say they're in the middle of it, they, uh, I mean, all right, I go out and I buy it right now, but I'm, you know, I'm, uh, pollen and things like that and mold and all that stuff say so bothers me. Well, it, it won't affect the pollen that you've already absorbed into the system, but it will prevent additional pollen from getting into your uh, nose and, 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 and letting that allergic reaction continue on, but it will not treat the symptoms you have already as a result of having uh, an allergy episode. Uh -huh. Okay, well, listen, congratulations. This is great news. And because uh, uh, what do they estimate just here in America, people that are affected by allergies? Well, we're talking about 40 million people. So right. 15 of the population. Okay. And, Doctor you, uh, Ashok, you must be a happy guy. This has uh, come to fruition, all your energy in research and development, right? I, I feel like that. We are very excited, Paul. And, uh, you helping us spread the word around, and uh, hopefully many people will be relieved from this. Uh, it's my pleasure. It's uh, uh, things like uh, runny eyes and all that. Kind of, a lot of people have people go through a lot of pain here. They do. If people underestimate, I think the effect of allergies that it has on the quality of life. It's not a mm -hmm. life-threatening disease, but certainly it has a profound effect on quality of life, both at work and at home. And so, uh, it's an important issue for many Americans, and mm -hmm. important to do everything you can in the safest possible manner to prevent those symptoms from occurring. Okay, well congratulations to you both. Thank you for sharing the good news. Have a great day. Thank you. You as well. Bye-bye.